It's your heart. Welcome back to my channel to the Witchy Reader. So I'm going to be doing my uh, October wrap up. And I didn't get it. I didn't read all the books that was on my TBR. Uh, there are a couple books I ended up reading that weren't on my TBR. But I am just going to talk about what I did end up reading. Uh, as you guys know, I was uh, I co-hosted the One Star Readathon again, as I do every October. And uh. I was in like a bit of a slump before the month, not like a huge one, like I was still reading, but just not as often as I usually do, and it did help me read more a bit. I still didn't end up reading all the books I wanted to, as I said, but I'm still happy with um, what I did end up reading. Uh, I enjoyed everything I read. Uh, as I, I think I mentioned this in one of my vlogs, because during the readathon i always do weekly vlogs to, to update you on my re reading but um i've decided to give um uh audiobooks a try f this month or uh, this past month uh just because of um i have to like replace a whole bunch of my books and stuff so um, and even most of my books that I do still own are at my dad's trailer, which I don't know when I'll be able to get them, which is like four to five minutes away. So, <laughs> I'll be doing audiobooks and ebooks through Libby for a little bit until I can get the books that I do own or replace the books that I, um, you know. Uh, so yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing. So the books I do, uh, that I did read, uh, I'll be talking about uh, them and what prompts they crossed off. So I read um, the fourth Percy Jackson book. Uh, and I was actually going to read books four and five, but this was near closer to the end of the month. And um, book four crosses off two prompts because I actually had Percy Jackson down for twice. But I meant for it to be like... <gasps> book four for one, book five for another, but it, uh, I was already running out of time, so I just decided to start book five at the beginning of this month. So, I read, so, uh, Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyr Labyrinth is what it's called, and, um, it crossed off the prompts of, uh, one of Rochelle's prompts, a uh, hall monitor, a lawful good character, because Percy Jackson's a lawful good character, and, um, one of Skeletus, uh, Skeretich, a Chosen One MC. So, because obviously Bruce Jackson is a Chosen One. <laughs> um, and then, what else did I read? So I also read The Shadow of Kiyoshi, because, um, as you guys might know, a few months ago, I read The Rise of Kiyoshi, because I owned that book, but I did not own the sequel. And I've been meaning to get it from the library or whatever, because I knew I couldn't buy it, I didn't have the money for it. Um, and so I was, um, um, but I finally got that from the library, and I read that, and I loved it. Um, uh, Percy Jackson Battle Labyrinth, I rated it five, five stars. And then this one, Shadow of Kyoshi, I rated four stars, um, just like I did the first book. And for this, uh, it crossed off a few prompts. Uh, Friday Night Frights, Transfer Student, A Character Switches Side, which is one of Rochelle's prompts. Um... Because Kiyoshi switched sides. She thought she was on the good side, but then she learns the truth, so she switched to the actual good side. And then this one guy kind of switched to the evil side. So there's just a lot of switching sides and betrayals and stuff, so yeah. Uh -huh. um, I also crossed off one of Venus's, uh, one of Venus's, uh, tra I can't speak, uh, prompts, uh, for... Plant monster, nature, plant presence, um, because, uh, well, uh, Kiyoshi, for anyone who's seen Avatar Last Airbender, Kiyoshi was one of Aang's past lives, and, um, so she could obviously, since she's the Avatar, she could, um, use every element, all four elements, uh, but her native element, the one she's from, is Earth Kingdom, so plant presence, obviously, <laughs> Um, is that all? No, I think it has one more. Yeah, okay. So I also crossed off one of Nathan's, which is Rainbow, a book with LGBT rep. Because Kiyoshi is bisexual, 
and it, and um, her main love interest uh, in both books is Rangi. Uh, she did have a crush on a guy at the beginning, but once she got closer to Rangi, um, she fell in love with her, and the two of them have uh, were together until the very end. Um, and that was all for Shadow Kyoshi. What else did I cross off? Um, I read Charmed, one of the charm books in my uh, collection. This one is Charmed again. It is book 11, the first one with Paige. And this one was really easy to read because as I explained, I think I explained this in my first reading vlog because I think this was the first book I read in the month. Um, but most of the charm books are different storylines than actual episodes. So, um, but there are a few books that are just like the episodes and I, and I have a theory about why they did that, uh, because the very first book is exactly like the very first episode. Well, they added a few scenes here and there, but mostly it's just like the same episode. You get the same story. And then this book, the first one with Paige, after you find out that Prue died, um, is a lot like this episode. And my theory for why they did that was so you can read the books without ever having to see the TV show. So you, so the first book you can understand how they become, became the charm ones, and this book you can understand why Prue's gone and Paige is here. So yeah, but if, if you, but I still recommend checking out the TV show just because even though I am enjoying the books, the TV show is still better. Duh. <laughs> um, that's uh sound weird to say because usually the book's better than the uh movie or TV show or whatever, but not this case. Actually, there's actually been a few cases where I actually liked. And it's usually whenever it's, there's a TV show involved, or when the TV show came first, and then the books. Like, uh, actually, I, I don't know if which ones came first, the TV show or uh, the books, April Liars and the Vampire Diaries, but I couldn't get into the books of either. Maybe it's because I saw the TV show first, so I just didn't like the books, but I fell in love with TV shows, I don't know. But with Charmed, um, I am really enjoying the books, though, unlike April Liars and the Vampire Diaries. But uh the i just i love the tv show better okay so i went a bit off topic there so what else did i read okay that was the oh i didn't say what prompt that crossed off it crossed off one of rebecca's hex kaya a book with family obviously because the charm ones are sisters um and then cool friends forever um which was a buddy read i read with uh robin and claire um and it was a reread for me. I absolutely love the series. If anyone who doesn't know, it's actually one of my favorite series. It's the only other uh, book series that I would say I've read as much as I've read Harry Potter and Seekers. And anyone who knows me knows that those are like my two favorite series. And this is definitely number three. These are my top three series right there. Harry Potter, Seekers, and Monster High Ghoul Friends Forever. Um, I'd say it's the only other series I know as well as I know Harry Potter and Seekers. So it Obviously, I love it a lot. Um, and I love rereading it. Uh, we're going to be reading... Um, we're about to reading the rest of the series, too. I think we're doing it by month. Because we have other books we want to read each month. So, we're just going to do one book a month. So, yeah. Um, but it crossed off... Actually, this because it is about Monster Eye. And because three of the character proms... Venus Refresh... Bleh, oh. I almost said Rebecca, like I was trying to put Rebecca and Rochelle together. Okay, I guess I just created my own free Freaky Fusion. Anyone who's seen the movie Freaky Fusion understands that reference. <laughs> but, um, Venus, Rebecca, and Rochelle are the three main characters in this series. Um, so, uh, uh, one pro. I actually could cross off uh, the uh, nature plant presence one, obviously, because Venus, but um, it could cross off so many of these, I swear. Um, but the ones I had to cross off for was School Friends Forever, a book with female friendship. Obviously, this is like the best book for this because like it's all about their friendship. <gasps> the trio that they formed. I also had to cross off um, one of Skeletas. Drop Dead Gorgeous, Fashion Clothes Play an Important Role. I ended up going with uh, using it for this one because this, because like that was a hard prompt to find. Uh -huh. And uh, there's this whole side storyline with Rochelle when she uh, takes it upon herself to make um, uh, the, the guidance counselor, uh, Mr. Death, happy and smile. And she decides to do that by 
gave him a date and to give him a date she decided to kind of spruce up his uh, appearance so she was trying to make him a suit but with her gargoyle stone nails she kept snagging the fabric and it turned into one big mess so Venus, Rebecca, Rochelle went to uh, ask Claudine and Frankie for help because Frankie, you know, so's, uh, Frankie is daughter of Frankenstein. So, uh, they, uh, sew up their own, um, you know, stitches and all that. Um, and Claudine is the fashionista of Monster Eye. So I read, um, Into the Wild, which is, um, which wasn't actually on my TBR, but uh, it was the first audiobook I actually tried, and um, I wanted to get some reading done, but I was I wasn't feeling well, so I decided to try, so I couldn't actually get myself to actually you know physically read, not even an ebook, so I decided to try that, and um, it does work for one of the prompts, so I went with it. Um, it's the first book in the Warriors. I don't think I mentioned that, so it works for one of Nathan's prompts, Freaky Flaw, a character with a tragic past. Uh, it didn't say it had to be the main character, good because uh, Firepaw does not have a he is um, Firepaw does not have a tragic past. He had like a really cozy life before he decided to live in the wild. But um, uh, one of the important characters you meet some way through the first book is Yellowfang, and she does have a tragic past. So yeah, um, and then. Skinjacker, uh, Everlost is the first book in the Skinjacker trilogy, and I reread that, um, for, it's a great, uh, trilogy, I highly recommend, but, uh, it's by Neil Schusterman, I know I've heard people talk about some of his other works, but I've never heard anyone talk about this particular gem, so check it out, um, it, I, it crosses off one of Skeletos, which is a Day of the Dead, a book about death, and I figure there's no better book than this one because, like, all the characters are dead. So, like, it's perfect for a book about death. <laughs> and I did start to read uh, The Dawn of the Ancient. I didn't end up finishing it uh, by the end of the month as I wanted to, but I did get halfway through. So, yeah. So those are the books I read and what prompts they crossed off for the most I read it on. Uh, I loved doing this and I can't wait for next um, year. Uh, Rob and Claire and I are probably going to start um, very soon uh, figuring out the prompts for next year because I know that last year, as soon as it ended, we the three of us started working on what prompts um, for this year. So these prompts have been set in stone for a while. Uh, so all we have to do is figure out what five characters to do and then uh, Yeah So this should be fun But I always have so much fun with this readathon. I can't wait for next year and um, There's some if you guys want to join then you don't even have to be a fan of Monster High to join It's just a fun Halloween theme because these characters are monsters obviously uh, So like I said, you don't have to watch Monster Eye, but I do recommend watching Monster Eye just because Monster Eye is awesome. But I'll have the link to the Discord server, which uh, you can be in all year round, because we can we don't just talk about the readathon during the months without readathon. We talk about we can just chat about Monster High. It's a great place for Monster High fans to just chat. Um, but if you do want to join this uh, readathon, definitely check it out. I will be uh, putting the Discord server in the comments or comments uh, the description. <laughs> So please like and subscribe and comment how your reading month went. I would love to know and I'll talk to you guys next time.